Even in a time of crisis, this song still manages to soothe any soul. Hey, how's it going, everyone? My name is Raid Fun, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Platinum. In the last episode, we defeated Bryron, or Bryce as I like to call him, of Kennelly Gym, and found out that there has actually been a bomb that's exploded in Lake Valor. And in this episode, without any delays, we are going to jump right over there to Lake Valor, or Valor Lakefront. So, if you recall, all these things that have been accumulating up to now are starting to make sense. Because, first it was the whole deal about the bomb that the Galactic Grunt was holding right here. And now, he went to the lake, and after a few episodes, he managed to actually set off the bomb and be a major threat, as Cynthia said. So, let's go ahead and put up a max repel. We only have one left, that's not good. But it shouldn't be that bad. So let's just zoom over there because we really want to get over there. Because, trust me, it's going to be pretty fun. So, uh, as I stated at the end of the, of the last episode, <coughs> for all of you who didn't uh, have any appeal towards this game in terms of story, uh, now would be a very good time to reconsider looking into it. Because it's just the small things that lead up to super big things. It's like... It's like in a mystery novel. Any clues, they all make so much sense in the end. But, the cameramen are gone, and it's time to look at beautiful Lake Valor. Where's the lake? Why has everything been drowned? Magic carps on the floor. Sources of bombs explosion. Puddles. This can only mean one thing. Repel's effect wore off! No, just kidding. So, turns out Team Galactic are much more dangerous than we have originally intended to them for them to be. So let's put out Torterra in the front because he needs a little bit of training. And let's just go ahead and jump right into battle. You're not gonna fight me? Okay, whatever, doesn't matter. Okay, well, I do know there's, a re like, one required battle here, I believe. Well, actually, can we just skip this one? For the most part, we can. So let's just see if we can manage to skip both of these. I know it's possible to skip both of these, but there is one battle here that we will have to fight. So, easy. So let's enter the main heart of the Valor Cavern. And let's see what lies here. Cyrus? The mission is proceeding without a hitch. The boss should be pleased. Everything's for everyone, and we're good at Team Galactic. I recognize your face. You're the child who raided the Team Galactic building in Eterna. Hmm. Jupiter should just be ashamed of herself being beaten by a child. But anything and anyone that opposes Team Galactic must be crushed. Even the very thought of opposition, opposition will not be tolerated. So without any further ado, here we go with our next battle versus Commander Saturn. I'm sorry that I'm staying quiet here, it's just this music. That music. Okay, enough, enough appreciating the music. You can just look it up anytime you want to. I'm probably going to do that after this episode. Uh, so yes, let's go on Let's send out Lenix here, and what are you going to use? Air Cutter? That shouldn't do anything to us, really. So, good thing that we managed to train, because, first of all, that battle at Canelave City was a joke. We seriously just literally waltzed in, owned him, and went away with a nice little disc containing Flash Cannon and a badge. So, for all of you who haven't guessed by now, well, duh, I mean, it's completely obvious that Galactic Grunt pretty much just had a bomb. And that explosion, first he used it to blow up the Bastoria Marsh. Then he secondly used it to blow up the Valor uh, Lake. And now you may be thinking, why would they do such a thing like that? Well, even more clues that build up to the climax of this main storyline here. And trust me, this game has an awesome story. So he's going to use Toxicroak, that's going to be a ground poison. <coughs> Sorry. 
so... Actually, what am I saying, ground poison? That's like... No! That's a poison fighting or something like that. It's poison fighting. Definitely poison fighting. So, Toxic Croak, get on out here. Look at my Raptor. Isn't he amazing? Don't give him a lick, though. He won't... Oh, God, you're female. Oh, jeez. Okay, whatever. Let's go ahead and use Aerial Ace, and that should pretty much take care of him, right? Right? Or her. Right? Oh. Whatever, it doesn't matter. You have a Sigis Berry? Really? Okay, well, once again, I should mention, I'm unprepared. I put Bios up for this, yet... I... Oh, great, you poisoned me. That's wonderful. But I put up Bios for this, yet I did not explain anything. I was hoping I'd get away with it, but I just really wanted to show it up, say it up real quick, because... Really, for any commander, I should have done it in, the, in like, you know, like, the past. But this one's a little bit more special, mainly because, well... He's the ultimate galactic commander next to Cyrus. Spoilers. Uh, okay. His final Pokemon, Bronzor. Should be very easy. I mean, come on. It's a steel type. Close combat. Yeah, you know what the drill. You know the drill. So let's just punch it a bunch of times, and it should guarantee death with a critical. Nice. And there we go. Training pays off in the end, because we seriously breeze through all these battles now. You, my friend, are tough! I can see why you defy us so! Gah! <laughs> Even I, a commander, only managed to buy us time? But that's fine. A child like you would never be able to st stop stem the flow of time. Why the hell do I think it'll stop? Team Galactic will get the three legendary Pokémon of the lakes. With their power, we will create an entirely new universe. By now, Marsh will capture the Pokémon of Lake Verity. Yep. If you rem if you recall, there are three legendary Pokemon in the three lakes. One pe one po legendary Pokemon apiece. So now it pretty much all adds up to why they're doing this. Except for one final question. Why are they catching the legendary Pokemon of the lakes? What essential reason do they have for doing this? More questions that build up, only to lead to an epic climax. I would end it off here, but we are seriously only 7 minutes and 38 seconds in, so I am not even going to bother. So, how about we go check up on what's going on in Lake Verity? And now, Lake Varro is all calm now with his music. But we really have to go check up on Don and Rowan, because who knows what could happen to them. I mean, it's Team Galactic we're dealing with here. I mean, before we thought they were a joke, and now they're still kind of a joke because of their ridiculous... Ridiculous? Ridiculous outfits. <laughs> Ridiculous outfits. But with that, let's go back to Twinleaf Town and. The adventure unfolds once again. I can't believe it. I can't believe I'm already here. It's been a month. It's been almost a month and two weeks since I started LPing. And it's just been a blast doing all these episodes for you guys. It's just. It really meant a whole lot to me to do all this. And I. Enjoyed every single minute of it. Ah, Sebastian, what timing? These Team Galactic scoundrels are after the legendary Pokemon. You've got to help Don. I'm not gonna help Don. Screw that. Oh, what the hell? Sneaky. It's our mission to stall you. Sorry, but we gotta do our job. <laughs> Sorry, but we're just gonna stall you. I, I apologize. In order for us to bring peace to the world, you must control it. Something tells me I made a big mistake here. And three and one Pokemon. That, that's wonderful. Okay, Torterra and Manny. Uh, uh, I guess that's um, I guess it's a good thing. Uh, why the hell? And hold yourself, Sebastian. You're making yourself look like a total idiot. And again, I always do. So whatever. And great, my phone went off in recording. Awesome. You guys probably didn't hear the vibe. Oh my God, it's a lot of tweets. Um, not gonna check it. Not gonna check it. I'm so not looking at. I'm seriously not looking at it right now. By the way, I don't care. I don't care. Phone, stay away. Evil machine. That's pretty cool to have. Uh, anyways, so fit. Ah, no, there doesn't matter. Crunch on Glamiel, and I should do at least one third, or almost death. Okay, I'll take that too. 
And swagger? Pfft, I don't believe in swagger. I, I, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I seriously think swag is like the stupidest word ever created in the history of forever. It's just so stupid. I mean, why the hell do people go around like, yo man, I got swag or whatever. It makes no sense to me whatsoever. And it's just completely stupid. I mean, for all like those teenagers who are who try to act all cool by like saying these stupid like like the stupid slang. I mean seriously guys, just no. It makes you look more pathetic than you really are. There I go again making speeches, which I'm supposed to save until I I don't know, become president, which I'm not I'm not planning to do in my life, by the way. I don't want to become president. Too many too many responsibilities. Let's play has much less don't doesn't have any responsibilities really. Except not loading in time and all that. Uh, but if we're dealing with a gold bat here, let's go ahead and send out Lenix. And my throat is starting to hurt uh, for once to actually enjoy this. Because I did not experience this for a whole week. And I probably should stop doing like massive recording sessions. But, I mean, seriously, the story is just too good for me to stop and continue. It's like reading a book. You're really into the story. You have to do something. Yet you just have to end up fighting it. And you have to just... You have to try to stop, but you can't. And nasty plot. I I already forgot that does. I think it's just like three special attack. And it, actually, it does. I think it makes sense when you think about it. I mean, really, all these moves that the Pokemon know, it may seem really stupid to you sometimes, but it really does make a lot of sense if you like, you know, apply critical thinking to it. You're just like, well, it could be. Yeah, this this could make sense if it raises this or something like growl. Yeah, it could, it's like Intimidate, and low 42 for Lenix, but, I mean, when he, whoa, Crunch, thank you, thank you, Lenix, you finally learned an awesome move, that's not Bite, but Crunch. Thank, I was waiting for that, actually, I really wanted him to learn Crunch, because it is just so useful to have. And why are we getting such bad XP for Eagoraptor? Okay, I really have to start putting that XP share on, like, Eagoraptor or something. Or actually, no, uh... No, all our Pokemon are at max evolution, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, look, 805 and all that. Okay, with that final Pokemon, a Murkrow. Okay, how should I do this? You know what? Just because I feel stupid, I'm going to use Defog, and I'm going to use Thunder. Try to show off what Defog does in battle. It's basically a double team. Or not a double team, but something like that. It is one thunder. I actually was on common I was gonna hit, but there we go. Simple as that. Down you go. We're good. We're good. Losing part of my job too. I feel better by saying that. You're too young to understand. What do you mean I'm too young to understand? You know, screw you. Screw you people. Anyways. I d do for you know what? You know what, little beaver? We got a big, bad, m bleeping turtle. He's just gonna shake the ground and kill you. I want to, like, do some major cursing there, but that's not part of it right now. I mean, I'm not I'm not a guy that would go around, like, you know, cursing, like, you know, out of thin air, just being, like, going... You know what I mean. Like, those people that just go around, like, saying, like, curse words all the time. Like, I'm not saying, like, oh, if you use a curse word, you're, like, some weird guy. No, not that at all. I mean, I curse, trust me. But, like, you know, I don't overuse it. Anyways. I'll knock your Pokemon into orbit! Huh? I get your joke. If this mission is successful, we'll get a nice bonus. Well, you know what? You can kiss your bonus goodbye, because... It is us, the hero, Sebastian, the protagonist, the one who will stop your bonus at becoming, or getting like a good house or something. You copiers. Okay, so let's actually quickly finish this battle because we are almost 15 minutes in and I kind of want to make these episodes long because there's, there's something coming up right after this which is pretty self-explanatory, so I really don't have to explain it further. Okay, so let's go ahead and use Thunderfang on Houndor. I would switch to Manny. Eh, actually, I, I should switch to Manny. What am I saying? I have, I kind of have to. I mean, Thunderfang. If that does half, then I'm not gonna switch. Or we could just one hit KO. Whatever. Even better. 
So, lean X. No, too much, too much XP. Too much XP for you. No, like I, I, I disapprove. Like, stop it. Okay, actually, no, no, no. Let's go ahead and use Fire Blast for Glam Meow, and let's go ahead and use another Thunder Fang for Stunky. And you know, when I was little, that Fire Blast thing, like it has, has the symbol for fire. Like, little did I know back at the time that that actually stood for fire in Japanese, and I was just like. Oh, it goes five directions. That's so cool. And little did I know about it. I mean, clearly, I did not know this game was Japanese when I was little. I thought it was just some thing that my dad made. I'm dead serious. When I first thought about Pokemon, I literally thought my dad got it at a store and, you know, it was his own game. Sounds kind of stupid, and, yeah, you're right. Uh, pff, well, whatever. Okay, let's go ahead and finish off with a Thunder. Fire Fang should do some damage. Not a whole lot, but some. Houndour, you're pathetic. You're sort to get hit with a strike of light of lightning by Zeus. The Lenix? I should have named Lenix as Zeus. Like as or Zeus. Not the Zeus. Anyways, my mind is going orbital! Stop making your stupid puns. Here goes our bonus. This is an epic tragedy. So with that guys, I say we ended off here because we are 60 minutes in and there's something over there that we want to do. So guys, next time on Pokemon Platinum, we are going to be seeing what Don and Mars are up to there. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.